Greetings, everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at Visual Studio subscriptions, a quick jump start. Let's get started. So what I've found interesting over the years is that a lot of the developers I work with either one don't realize that our employer has provided a, a Visual Studio subscription to them or two, the developers not sure what all is included with a Visual Studio subscription. Um, both are unfortunate. So that's what we'll be covering uh, today. Um, I'll briefly cover an introduction and a little history behind Visual Studio subscriptions. I'll also cover what all is included from a high level, um, and then we'll actually dig into the Visual Studio subscription portal and look at all the various pieces there with a couple of different subscriptions. With Visual Studio subscriptions, um, it's been around for quite some time, actually. Um, it was formerly called MSDN, or Microsoft Developer Network, subscriptions. And long ago, uh, when you would sign up for these subscriptions, you would get the product catalog, essentially, um, to install. First, uh, when I started getting them, it was on CDs. And then eventually, it was on DVDs. And now, everything is strictly online. And you access it there at my.visualstudio.com is the portal. And we'll take a look at that briefly in a little bit. Generally, um, they're going to be, these Visual Studio subscriptions are going to be provided by your employer most of the time. Now, you can also purchase them yourself as an individual. Um, one of the things I've done in the past, but uh, I'll ha I have actually multiples we'll look at. But generally, they're going to be provided by your employer. And it's a great benefit your employer does for developers. The Visual Studio subscription we're going to look at includes a wide range of benefits. It includes development tools, Azure access, software and downloads, services, training and support options. So it's quite, quite a big bunch of stuff. We're going to take a look here at this other website, uh, visualstudio.microsoft.com slash subscriptions, and we'll look a little bit about what the differences are on the various subscription types. <clears throat> so what's included? Well, as I mentioned before, the first thing you can think of is your development tools, right? Your Visual Studio IDE, and whether that's for PC or Mac, um, and then whether you're having the Professional or Enterprise Edition. So lots of different options there depending on your subscription. And there's tons of software you can download with licenses. Yes, that's right. You have licenses as a developer um, to uh, download and install various things from Office to Windows to SQL Server and Windows Server. Uh, we'll take a brief look at, at various things there. Also, one of the biggest things that my teams are working on now is leveraging their Azure subscription. So with a Visual Studio subscription, you can create an Azure subscription. And depending on your Visual Studio subscription type, you can have either five or, or excuse me, 50 or $150 monthly credit. Um, to use. And that's great for doing POCs and just, um, you know, messing around with all the Azure services. Another great benefit that I use uh, is you have the ability to create your own Azure DevOps instance. And that includes everything with Azure DevOps. That's your boards, uh, which, you know, you have your backlog and your work items, as well as your repositories. So you can do tons of Git repositories there that are essentially private. Um, for the most part. And you can also uh, create your own artifacts feeds, uh, which is great. So there's all kinds of things you can do with just Azure DevOps. I use that tremendously. And we'll take a brief look at the other offerings that they have, including some various trials. Uh, there's stuff for professional development and training and learning. And then there's also some various support options that you'll have access to. So let's pop into a quick demo. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, launch Internet Explorer, or the edge here. And I'm going to go to the uh, first link that we're talking about, visualstudio.com slash subscriptions. And on this particular page, it's just going to kind of cover at a high level what all is included uh, with Visual Studio subscriptions. And we briefly just talked about that from our development tools. There's Azure, software and downloads, uh, and then some various other services offerings. But one thing I want to really point out here is on this page is there's this option to compare the subscription benefits. So this is pretty important in that uh, you're, you have the ability to see these are all the different types of subscriptions. 
and you'll see the benefits that they provide. One note that I've ran into in the past is the monthly enterprise and, and uh, monthly professional do not include Azure credits. Um, so just keep that in mind, both the enterprise subscription and professional subscription uh, do, and I've used both of these in the past. So let's take a look at just professional. You'll see it, the screen change and it kind of shows you the various offerings. You can see there's the tools you have access to, uh, the Azure, there's your $50 credit, Azure DevOps, and then a whole list of you know Windows servers and stuff. So if we also go to enterprise, you'll notice the list will slightly change. You'll have a few more, you have additional credit uh, and you have more downloads. Right, so uh, quite a bit of, of, of difference there. So aside from just kind of getting a feel of what that is, let's go ahead and launch into the portal. Um, so if I go to the my.visualstudio.com, this is gonna take us to the, uh, well, first you're gonna sign in with your, generally you'll sign in with your work account um, to activate your, your credit there. Uh, and then you should be brought to a page similar to this. And this particular uh, subscription I have is Enterprise. I've also signed up for the free Dev Studio, uh, the Dev Essentials, which it still has some options you'll see here, but not not, not nearly as many. Um, and you can see the screen kind of changes and you'll, you'll see some different things. So we go back to Enterprise. And first thing here, we're on the benefits tab and we'll take a brief look at some of these other tabs, but the benefits are wide ranging and you can see there's all these cards down here are kind of overwhelming. So they have a way for us to filter these out. So let's look at just tools. And you can see here now, these are just the tools we have access to, which is still tremendous amount, mostly uh, in the context of Visual Studio, DevOps and Azure are the main ones that I personally use quite a bit. The other option is too, when you go to professional development, here's uh, various other things. LinkedIn Learning, uh, six months, Pluralsight, six months. These are great. You know, if you want to, uh, you know, up your skill level to, uh, you know, the next level, definitely take advantage of these uh, and use those uh, to your benefit. And then also when you have any issues that you want to report, whether that's just with development or with Azure, here's a lots of different uh, available options that you can, depending on your subscription, you'll have access to. On benefits, uh, just backing up here on benefits, the, most of what you'll see here is is going to be slightly different per subscription type. So let me just pop over to um, my work machine. And you can see here I have professional for my work and the tools are slightly different. So now I have um, a $50 credit instead of $150. And, uh, but I still have access to Visual Studio and DevOps. Um, so still quite a bit of stuff. If we go back and look here at the enterprise, I'm going to take a look now at downloads. Downloads is pretty cool in that this is the software that you can download and use as a developer um, from Microsoft. Now there's, there's going to be a lot more, but this is at a, the highest level what these uh, options are. So you get the dev tools, various, various options here, Office, and then Windows uh, Desktop, you know, and then Windows, uh, Windows Server products, including SQL Server and, and whatnot. Now this this is slightly different. So if I go back to my work account and go to those downloads, um, I don't have as many options with the professional subscription here. See, I don't have uh, that whole office option is uh, not no longer exists. So back over here, the, the other thing you'll hear is, is product keys. Now this is interesting because Microsoft really wants. Um, developers to build stuff for their tools, right? It just makes sense. If if we, we as developers are building things for various Microsoft products, they'll be continued to be used, right, and adopted. So it makes sense that they want us to have access to those products. So products keys is, is a great option for you. So if you if you can locate the installation media for any of these options, uh, you have a whole list of product keys that you can enter to register that particular product. So um, the list is quite extensive, and um, I mean, it includes Office, it generally, or SharePoint. I mean, the the list is tremendously long. Um, so, uh, ex extremely beneficial to take advantage of these options. So, I uh, definitely would uh, recommend that. 
subscriptions is just going to tell you a little bit of details about your subscription. Um, and not, it's kind of just like the background info. So I'm just skip over that tab, this get help. So if you didn't find what you wanted in, in this video that you're watching right now, chances are you'll, you might find it on this particular page. Uh, there's some stuff on here that I didn't cover, um, but are really good for you uh, to look into if you have any other questions like, how do I even use the rest of this? You know, what is this? Um, so that's, that's great for that. And lastly, the marketplace is literally just the visual studio marketplace, which that's a whole different topic that, uh, <laughs> that deserves its own video for that matter. <clears throat> But just quick again, back on the benefits, um, maybe in a future video, we'll, we'll talk about provisioning an Azure DevOps instance, and we definitely will be talking about provisioning Azure. So we'll take a look at these in additional future videos. I think that's all I wanted to cover in this video for Visual Studio Subscriptions Jumpstart. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and sign up for notifications, and I'll see you in the next video.